Hello my beautiful babes, welcome or welcome back to my channel, Boss Up Budgets. On this channel, I do cash stuffing, budgeting, saving up challenges, and all things money related. And today we are going to be stuffing paycheck number 2 of April. Here I have $1,203. I will go ahead and jump straight into the cash count. Here we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 500, 550, 600, 650, and 700. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 3, 20, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, another 80, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, and 23. Awesome. So everything is here. Hopefully you guys did enjoy my back-to-back -back videos from last week. I definitely wanted to push those out for you guys. I usually wait like seven days to two weeks before I publish a new video. Um, just so that I want to give everyone a chance to watch my latest video. But, you know, I was a little bit backed up and I wanted to make sure that I just don't ignore the content that needs to go out and just go ahead and publish it. Nonetheless, hopefully you guys did enjoy it. So the first... The first one I want to start off with is my weekly allowance. Everything has already been emptied out and used and I will go ahead and start fresh today. So the first one is coffee. I am going to stuff $5 in here and it's getting a little bit hot so let me roll up my sleeves real quick. It's getting a little bit warm in my room. Um, anyways, we're going to skip date night and go into dining out. I'm going to put $5 in this as well. Gas and EV, I'm gonna put $10. I did get gas today, that's why it's already empty. I wanna build this back up. Groceries is getting 20, 40. And I'm actually going to up this amount. I did have a comment recently. This comment was basically saying, you know, like what it is that I actually buy when I go grocery shopping. Um, I'm not gonna lie, I do go over budget quite a bit. You know, for the most part, I do uh, split my groceries with my boyfriends, but sometimes either I take care of the entire bill or sometimes he takes care of the entire bill. So it kind of just depends. But I actually think I will up this amount of groceries. I also wanna have like an abundance of veggies, nutritions. I feel like this is just enough for me to meal prep like two or three meals per week. Usually what I do is I meal prep like about two or three different meals and then I also eat out quite a bit um, with my friends. Things come up, you know, throughout the week with family, friends. And so it's been working out, but I definitely do want to eat at home more often. I do want like little snacks, little fruits and stuff like that. And usually this budget doesn't cover that. It just really strictly covers the two or three meals that I'm planning. So yeah, I think I'm going to up this the next week. So yeah, stay tuned for that. The last one is my spending and I'm going to put $5 in that as well. And then that totals $70 for this week's spending. Next is my monthly expenses and my debt binder. The first one I'm going to stuff is my car insurance. This one is getting at 20 30 35 now it has 20 40 50 60 65 and 70 and next is my car note it is getting 50 70 90 now it has 50 100 120 140 160 and 180 then we have gym this one is getting five, six, seven, and eight. 
I'm struggling here, you guys, because right before I actually filmed this video, I separated the pretty bills and the ugly bills. And the pretty bills, I put it in the front. That way I know which envelopes I kind of want to put the pretty bills in. And those are going to be the envelopes that I actually keep around. They're going to be snowball effect. Meanwhile, some of these envelopes I'm going to empty at the end of the month. So I'll just use ugly bills for that. But anyways, Jim has 5, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16 dollars. Next one is Ortho. This is getting $55. So now Ortho has 110. And phone is going to be getting $60. That's 50 and 60. And now phone has $120. And lastly is my subscription. This one is just gonna get $10, making it $20 right now. And I still haven't got my BoxyCharm. If you guys watched my last video, I did say I'm debating on stopping that subscription when it comes in. I'm gonna see if the collab with BoxyCharm and Ipsy is good enough for me to continue, but yeah. Now I'm gonna go into my fixed expenses. The first one is my car registration. This one is gonna be getting five, six, seven and eight dollars now it has 50 70 80 85 90 95 96 97 98 99 101 dollars that low-key reminds me you guys i think i'm gonna be making a 100 dollars placeholder i decided that i wanted to do that just so that i can help alleviate some of these big envelopes i want to put some of the money into the bank and so i don't have that much money on hand just want to lower that amount a little bit so i'm gonna go ahead and take some time at the end of this month to make the hundred dollar placeholder right now i only have 500 1k 5k and 10k placeholders now we're gonna go into my debt for my credit card i'm gonna put one two three hundred three twenty three forty three hundred forty one forty two forty three and forty four I'm gonna stack it with last week's as well. And I'm actually gonna go deposit all of this into the bank probably tomorrow. Then I'm gonna go down to an envelope for my taxes and I'm gonna be putting $105 in it. Now it has 500, 600, 700, 705, and 710. And if you guys are wondering if you are paying enough taxes and you don't want to pay for taxes when the tax season comes, please watch my last video. I did talk a little bit more about it. I want to make sure that you guys know the website to go to just to calculate how much your gross income is and how much you should be paying towards taxes. Now let's go into my emergency funds and my savings. So the first one is Bentley Emergency. Emergency. He is going to be getting 20, 30, and 35. Now he has 500, 520, 540, 550, 560, 570, 75, and 580. And great news, you guys. I finally found a pet insurance that I was like, okay, this is super good. I want to try it. And that one is Spot Insurance. I'm paying $90 for his accidental and illness. And then I also added premium wellness insurance on top of that. So my total came out to $90. And that is with annual deductible of $1,000 and a reimbursement percentage of 70% and a annual max limit of reimbursement to unlimited. It talked to the representative and if you guys are going for the insurance, there's one thing that I learned that's absolutely important. You can change anything about the insurance once it's your annual renewal date. However, you cannot change their reimbursement amount. So if you elect for 2,000 maximum reimbursement for an entire year and let's say God forbid your pet has cancer and like the bill is just going up to like eight, nine thousand. You can't change that amount like ever, ever, ever. If you want to change that amount, you're going to have to cancel that insurance and re-enroll. So I'm very comfortable with what I got. I'm very excited and happy that he is now on pet insurance. And even the wellness does pay $150 off my teeth cleaning for him. And his teeth cleaning annually, I pay about $600. So I'm excited to get $150 off of that. 
that. And yeah, and now I'm gonna jump into my life insurance. Oh, and then I'm gonna also be making some new envelopes for him as well, just so that I can separate, you know, the different insurances that I have for him, meaning like his emergency fund, his insurance, his annual deductible. I kind of want to just, you know, separate all of that. All right. Hopefully I did this right. I was supposed to stuff $36, which I think I did. and $631 in life insurance. And then I'm gonna go into my Elvis savings account and we're gonna put $25. Let me get an ugly one. So we got a 20 and a five, which makes this $50 now. And I just checked my investing account. Super thrilled. It's at $2,437 as of today. This one is New Beginnings. I'm gonna put 100, 120. 125, 126, 27, 28, and 29. So now we have 100, 200, 220, 240, 45, 250, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, and 258. And then for Cancun, I am gonna stuff 50, 70, and 90 dollars again might be changing this envelope to a new destination but it's just gonna stay cancun for now that is it for my white binder and lastly this is my sinking funds just got a couple things to stuff in here first one i'm gonna stuff my adventures envelope because i haven't stuffed it in a while but i'm gonna put 10 and 11 dollars 10 15 16 17 18 and 19 dollars then I'm gonna go into my gifts envelope. This is gonna get 20, 25, and 26. So now it has 500, 550, 600, 620, 640, 660, 670, 75, 80, 81, and 682. I'm so close, I'm trying to hit 707 in here right now. Then going down to the envelope for myself, I'm going to put 20, 40, 45, 46, 47, 48, and 49. So many ones in here. We have 100, 150, 200, 220, 240, 260, 280, 300, 305, 310, 315, 316, 317, 318, 319, 320, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. And finally, the last one is for my boyfriend. So I actually got him another luggage, funny enough. I'm gonna put $10 in here. Ooh, we have leftover money. I made a mistake somewhere. So anyways, I got him a new luggage and I got him this single one I could find on Amazon that is TSA approved. I actually used that luggage to go to Ensenada and we flew Spirit Airline. This bag actually fits perfectly inside the Spirit Airline, which I absolutely love. It's a great weekend bag. And then I think when I got it, I was like, mm, I'm not sure if I was gonna keep it or if I was just gonna return it after the trip. I was trying to like test it out just to make sure that it fits. Cause obviously if it doesn't fit, I'm not gonna be using it. There's no need because I already own like four different luggages. When I was using it, I guess my boyfriend really, really enjoyed it and he may be switching to permanent or converting into permanent at his position right now. He's a contractor and once he switched to permanent, they're gonna be asking for some traveling and he's just looking forward to that. Like he's super stoked and super excited to be like a traveling businessman. You know, it's like a really good size. It's very petite, very small. It's 18 by 14 by 18 inches yeah so i was like you know what i know you very much enjoy your big luggage but let me go ahead and just get you that small luggage i'll pay for it you can have it it's a bit pricey but i think it's well worth it so if you guys are interested in something that fits on spirit you know please check that out frontier it will fit but you have to push it just a little bit so he now has 100 200 300 320 330 340 45 46 and 347 but that is it for my 
my black binder. I'm not too sure how I have extra money, um, but that is okay. We have five, six, seven, eight, and nine dollars now. I'm gonna go ahead and put it into my ones and five dollar challenge. I haven't stuffed this in quite a bit of time, so perfect. I think it was like meant to be. So here we are, in my beautiful mason jar that's carrying all my ones and fives. And hopefully I fill this up by the end of the year. Awesome. And that is it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. And I will see you guys in my next one. Ta-ta for now.